Dr. Hubner, I am here with Mila, and Mila is here for her hair transplant surgery for traction alopecia. She's very excited and nervous, <laughs> as is everybody. Yeah. So, uh, Mila, tell us about when you started losing your hair, and uh, tell us how it affects you and why you're here. Okay, so pretty much, um, I didn't actually realize that I was losing my hair until my dad made mention of it. Now, September 11th is significant because that is actually the day where um, I was in the military and I found out that there was a possibility I was going to war. And I think that's probably when I started losing my hair. <laughs> and I didn't really notice because when I came back from Iraq, I went to an African hair braider to get my hair done. And at that point, I was 19. And she was like, you know, what's going on with your hair? And because I became accustomed to it, I didn't even realize that my hair was balding all around the back and the sides. And I think it may have been from my Cavalar. Okay, somewhere. perfect. I'm going to highlight your, and again, I put some photos in there so people can really see. Okay. So, and she hides this so well, by the way. So I know this is hard for her to kind of show off. Normally <laughs> she's hiding this, mm -hmm. but you can see the extent of her hair loss. Her hairline's gone back. You mm -hmm. can see on the sides here, there's a couple fingers of loss. So... Well, I first of all, thank you for your service uh, and going to Iraq in areas that I can't even imagine, or you know, especially during that time. And uh, I cannot wait to get your hairline back. We're going to design your hairline now, talk about it, and we'll follow you throughout the day. And thanks again for you know pushing this forward and uh, letting other people see your journey. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Hubner, Natural Transplants, I'm here with Jamila, and Jamila is here one year after her surgery with us, and she was kind enough to show her results and, and, and sort of share her experience with this whole process, this whole journey, which is now over on her anniversary here. So um, obviously you can see from the before pictures, it's, it's night and day in terms of her hair. She has hair, uh, and she's wearing her hair back in such a cool way. So Jamila, uh, just in your own words, you know, tell us about the process and then tell us what you think about your results so far. Yeah, so just like Dr. Hubner said, it's my one year anniversary, which was on September 11th. So, um, you know, like I said in the, uh, uh, the before uh, video, the to me, the hardest part of the whole entire procedure was the numbing process for me. I know um, everyone's experience is different, but the numbing process was probably the the worst out of everything. Yeah. So oh, once uh, you know the medication or the you know the numbing uh, started to wear off, um, it really wasn't that bad. You know, um, they did this, uh, prescribe uh, medication. I took it once, and you know, my mom was like, you know, don't take any more, and I didn't even need it, right, you know? Right. Just the first um, night. Yeah. yeah. First night, yeah. you know, was, little, you know, it was a little tough as it started to wear off, but I found that I didn't even really need it. Um, just, you know, for those first uh, few days, just having to be in a stationary uh, position, right. I, uh, glasses. So just being careful not to have right, not to have the sides, you know, uh, rub up against, uh, you know, my hairline, you know, that was a big thing because, Pretty much, I if I'm not at work, I have my glasses on. So, you know, that took a little bit of adjusting. But, mm -hmm. you know, once those few days were over, it was fine. Cool. Um, How watching the transformation throughout the year throughout the year was amazing also. Yeah. So it takes about four months for the hair to start growing. So in the beginning couple months, sometimes you have a, you need a little reassurance or you look at the videos a little more often. Trust yeah. the process. It doesn't happen overnight. But man, what a difference. Um, has anyone noticed or said anything or? Oh, 100%. Um, you know, my family has been very instrumental in my journey also because we literally would have um, like one week checkups, you know, just to see, you know, that. <laughs> Like it's a little, you know, uh, often or too soon, but you literally can see the transformation week by week by week, yeah. you know? So every Friday evening, you know, I would send a group text to my family, you know, you have some like, eh, you know, I'm not convinced as yet, like trust the process. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like skeptics too. They're, they're always yeah. fun to kind of show at the end. Wow. So yeah. let's, let's model your hair if you don't mind. Uh, maybe yeah. you could just kind of put your chin down a little bit and we could kind of, I'll put the befores and afters. There we go. Wow, 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 wow. All right, and then hold it there. You, you already know the poses. <laughs> hold it there for a couple seconds. Perfect. And then kind of slowly bring it around to the other side. Awesome. Look how nice and staggered and natural that looks. And oh, holy smokes. 
And that's all you. You're not using any type of products in there. There's no fibers or any type of makeup or anything in there. No, not at all. If you want, you know, you can see if I, mm -hmm. you know, that's mm -hmm. all me. The most that I have, you know, just to kind of get everything together. I have a few, you know, clips in my yeah. hair. Yeah. To kinda, yeah. You know, get it to mesh together. But no product. Just a little water. <laughs> I am so happy for you. Um, congratulations. And, and thank you so much. I guarantee you this video will help somebody in their journey. They're going to relate to you and your hair loss. You went from zero to about 35% in that area. We talked before uh, about a second pass. Again, you don't need it. You, you don't need it. You, you maybe want it. You know, so it's up to you. Um, I'm sure people looking at your hair now are saying, what is she thinking, even thinking about a second procedure? But again, it's for you and it's about how it makes you feel, right? So um, we'll see how that, you know, how that goes. And obviously if that happens, we can document that journey as well. So, yeah. uh, but thank you so much for, uh, for everything and, uh, and being an ambassador for our clinic and helping others. Um, would you tell people, you know, would you do it again if you could, if you were in the same situation? 100%. Okay. 100. You know, obviously the goal is not to get in that situation again, right. you know, right. but 100 percent i would do it awesome. um you know again the transformation has just been you know and just hearing my dad say yesterday because i sent him oh on september 11th i sent my family a final update and my dad was like wow Mila, you're so he was like you look so beautiful and you know just to hear that from your dad yeah it, 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 it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's an emotional to hear that you know and and uh, i'm sure he thought that before your hair transplant too but mm -hmm. this is the icing on the cake i mean it's it really is so Congratulations, happy edge anniversary, and uh, thanks for sharing your story, Jamila. Thank you, Dr. Hubner. No problem. Call us now, 844-327-4247, and ask about our Hue and Hue Plus procedures, which move more hair than ever before. Hope to hear from you soon.